Hey all you garage gurus, Hearst Quasar hosting yet another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, the Fast and Furious series. Uh, last episode we took care of Dom Chevelle. Now, truth be told, <clears throat> I did look back into uh, some YouTube videos and happened to find out that uh, this the red Chevelle was actually at the end of the very first movie, so I've kind of messed up a little bit. And then it came back to life in the fourth movie. Um, if you watch the post credits after the first movie, you see Dom racing across some desert, um, some little desert town. I think it even says Baja California, maybe, uh, or Baja Mexico. Um, and then he was just he was just driving. So um, that's where you first see the the red and black Chevelle, and then you see it again in Fast and Furious Four when he. <clears throat> brings it into California and of course then uh, he gets to do a race and with that race he does a little tune up and does his car in a, a gray primer <clears throat> now I did take this back into the shop into the paint shop and matted it up a little bit so it does uh, have like a little gray primer matte finish to it I also put the license plates of what it was in the movie on the car itself so just a little thing you know i've been getting some comments over on uh, youtube so i want to try and start doing that if i could find the grand national front one and a in a dominican republic license plate i'd definitely put it on there but today we're going to turn our focus to brian o'connor's blue r34 now i have as you can tell, the, the tires and rims look brand new. Well, I've been painstakingly looking at pictures and um, trying to come up with uh, a set of wheels and tires that would look okay on this and still kind of give it the uh, Brian O'Connor uh, 34 look. And I think I may have it. Um, not entirely sure but I did do you know a lot of a, a lot of looking on the web and this is probably the closest that I could come to um, what he has all right so I have already picked the, the wheels and tires are already brand new um, I played around the side skirts. These side skirts are a little different. It's a regular rear bumper, a regular rear um, this trunk window. I don't have the split. I don't have the split spoiler. Um, and um, this is the best I could do for the hood of it. So I had been fitting around and I would try to couple of different front ends on it just didn't like the way it looked so I kind of left it the way that is uh, put it on a different set of side skirts like I said the rear bumper was kind of left alone so the hood and side skirts the way it came are the only things that I've really changed and the wheels and tires so let's get to it shall we <clears throat> excuse me All right, so I think the car in the movie itself had a slight body kit on the back of it, or at least some fender extenders off the side on the back of it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So yet yeah, another another uh, Skyline Brian puts together. Uh, of course, this one, uh, he gets invited to a street race, is basically what it is, after he's... Um, well, they know these. They knows there's a street race going on, and um, there's only a few people that get the race. And um, the FBI basically gives them the okay to go ahead and take on this race. So he's looking in the uh, police scrapyard or the uh, impound lot. Picks out three vehicles. You know, I want that one, that one, and that one. 
Uh, the young lady's like, okay, which one do you want? He's just like, I want all of them. So he makes this thing out of three different cars from the police impound lot. Yet another one of those favorite cars from the game. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a big muscle car guy, you know. Chevelles, Camaros, Mustangs. I'm all about those, but the skylines are really awesome. I was... Uh, I only see these every once in a great while. And I just love the looks of these things. If I had the extra cash, I'd probably have one. So I don't know about you guys, but the last couple of videos you've seen how the mouse was trying to get a little goofy. Um, don't know what it is. Don't know what it was. Um, haven't really done anything yet to the game, so let's see if it happens again. I have restarted Steam. Thinking maybe it was the Steam client. Um, and if you guys are having problems with uh, the game, sometimes restarting Steam or even restarting your own PC is very helpful. got to remember the batteries back here. Last time I totally forgot. You are out of there. <clears throat> so not a whole lot to the story of this car. I mean, Brian O'Connor puts it together with three different other cars. And it's like, voila, nice race car. <coughs> All right, now I think I'm just going to pick up the normal things we're going to need here. Um. <laughs> We are definitely going to need... Oh, I don't remember... I want to say they're shock Bs, but they're probably shock A's, aren't they? We'll go with the shock Bs. They look thick. Um, definitely a pair of those. Bearings get replaced. Uh, brakes, definitely. The discs and the pads. Alright, let's see how well we did. Uh, suspension. Ooh, I got a few pieces that. Oh, there's shock absorber aids. Go figure. Crapshoot. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> I kind of messed this up. So say I need at least a suspension arm. Uh, wow, yeah. <clears throat> I can't clear my throat. Hang on a second. Okay. A couple of those. Couple of those. Eight of each of these. And I think we're good. Um, what was I doing? Okay. Uh, brakes, let's see if I got everything hooked up on the brakes. Yep, it looks like I'm good there. Suspension, all is good in the world here. I need to need to get sway bar. And it is sway bar B. That's fine. Alright, so like I said, I, was, I spent a lot of time looking at the rims and tires and trying to uh, get this to all pan out right. Um, I did get this car from an auction, so everything, all the pieces should be repairable fairly easy on this thing. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I probably lost my butt on this one. Um, I think I paid 
I think I paid 10 grand more than what the car was actually worth. And I just wanted it because it had low miles on it. <clears throat> For the most part, it had low miles and um, it was in decent shape. And actually, I do believe this one was already blue. So it was like, hey, this is perfect. <laughs> bushings, bushings, bushings. Can't forget them bushings. I think the favorite part of the scene with this car is where he's driving it. He tells the car, sorry car, he's driving on some back road. Gets lost from the GPS. Tells the car he's sorry and breaks it through the a fence line. <laughs> Poor car. Alright, I've got a gas tank. So let's hook that up. And we'll pick up a high performance fuel pump for it while we're in here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Damn. All right, fuel tank. Yeah, of these, of the cars that uh, I've seen in Fast and Furious, the Skylines are probably my favorite uh, outside the muscle cars. Like I was saying, I am a big muscle car fan. Um, always have been, always will be. So. I need to jump over to the Steam Workshop to see if there's any new cars over there. Um, I'm always on the lookout for new cars for the Fast and Furious series. So if you happen to see one, um, let's see, we've done movie one, we've done movie two, and this is movie four. So if you see one that I haven't done in one of those three movies, uh, give me a shout. Let me know on Facebook. Throw a comment down below. And I will see about doing, I was thinking about doing like a off uh, episode like after I get them all done, just a few cars that do like a small debut. Like I was thinking about doing the '69 Camaro with the orange stripes. If you if you saw the uh, Los Bandoleros, you even know which I'm what I'm talking about. Um, there's probably a couple others that are um, that are out there that I could probably do. I think I'm done with the rear end here. Take a quick look at what I have available. Uh, a couple of small rubber bushings. Guess what I forgot? Um, is there a control? There's a control arm. That's what I'm looking missing. I knew it. All right. Take a look at my inventory. We are golden. All right. I do have the engine and transmission already out on this thing. Um, it is over on the engine stand. So, in an effort to try to you know save some time on the videos, I went ahead and pulled the engine out. It's not completely rebuilt yet. Um, it's just sitting over there right now. So we have to finish that up. So the deal with this car is that it is an all-wheel drive car. So if you're wondering why I have uh, drive axles on this car, that's why. It is an all-wheel drive car. It doesn't like really look like it hooks up really well underneath here. But uh, be honest, I don't care. It's an all-wheel drive car. It should have four axles. <clears throat>
We are just tearing through this thing. I've already replaced the large intercooler. For some reason, I feel like I'm going really super slow tonight. No idea why. So we've got this one to finish up, and we have the F-bomb sitting near the door over there. That'll be fun to rebuild. That's a fully sick vehicle over there, and I'll tell you what, it... I don't think it has many parts left to it. Not many parts at all. Oh, so that's going to be fun. Alright, we've got it down. I think we got everything off of here. Yes. Yes, and yes. So yeah, if you find some cars that you see that I haven't done, they're in the first uh, first movie, second movie, and the fourth movie. Um, let me know. As I'm doing the movies in chronological order, um, the next one will be the Fast Five. So just hang in there. And to be honest with you, Fast Five, I'm not going to do the, the crazy chargers. I'm not going to do a set of crazy chargers. You can boo hiss me all you want to. That's all right, but uh, they're just okay cars in my opinion. But I know I'm not a total big Dodge fan. The older Dodges, yes. Newer Dodges, eh, not so much. I like how the Challenger looks, but uh, the Chargers, not a fan. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that like them. <coughs> Alright, so might as well get uh I need some ventilated discs on with a set of pads. I am going to need a couple of tie rod ends, inners and outers. I need twelve rubber I think I'm gonna need ten rubber bushings. Um, a couple of bearings. I think it's an A link I need instead of the B link. Let me check real quick. I think for this type of a suspension, I believe it's an A link. Tie rods, tie rods, get your tie rods here. I only needed eight of those. A links, yep. Alright, so I need a couple of the A links and the front sway bar. That was pretty painless. Got most of our parts fixed. I'm gonna put these bushings in real quick before I forget them on this side. Holy cow. I don't know how many bushings I've left and I've lost in the past couple of videos. Now, I always preach to do them first. Oh boy. Everything cool? Everything cool? Yeah. Go ahead and start building the wheel assembly here. Just kind of meditating, watching these parts you put on. Sorry for being so silent. <clears throat> My throat is really bothering me. 
I have to try to do a good clear up here in a minute. Oh, where'd you go? In and out of right die rods. Uh, there we go. So the one thing I did notice is, I, you know, I've seen this movie, I don't know how many times, and I was going through the internet and I was looking for um, pictures of this car so I could try to get it as close as possible. And the one picture I did see was a picture of it as he was leaving. Um, as he's leaving, right? He's got this uh, blonde-haired guy. He's driving a yellow Mustang, I believe. Um, <clears throat> at least I think it's a yellow Mustang. Um, he's all snooty about American muscle. He can't beat American muscle because Dom beat him in the race, right? Well, Dom beat him in the race because Dom clipped him and spun him out. So it wasn't actually a fair race. But of course, as Dom would say, racing's racing, right? I think I got everything there. Let me check my inventory. Let's see if... Oh, I've got two rubber bushings because I have two rubber bushings. Uh, I bought ten instead of eight. I think we are good. So yeah, this guy gives, you know, Brian O'Connor a little bit of crap about his car. And in the picture, the... Um, the spoiler is just hanging off the car. It's all beat up and just hanging off the car. And, and honestly, I did not notice that in the movie. Um, so I'm going to have to pull up the movie again and watch it again just to see what's in there. But yeah, Dom wins the race. Of course, only mm -hmm. after um, clipping Brian's car, getting him spun out a little bit. So, so Dom wins the race, right? So what happens is this guy um, in the yellow Mustang, Brian O'Connor sets up a little sting bust on this guy in his apartment. That guy's a freak anyway. He was just, He's in his apartment just kind of doing some kind of freaky stuff with the girls he's got going on in there. Anyway, um... They go gangbusters in there and they arrest him and you know Brian pulls out like a big old bag of heroin or cocaine or something and uh, they tell him he's under arrest for the possession of cocaine and he's like it's not mine and one of the guys on the team is like you know that's not going to stick right and Brian O'Connor says it's not supposed to so it's an old sting operation just to get this one driver out of the race because Brian O'Connor is number two in the street race means that he got uh, an open slot for the drug lord uh, oh that's not what I wanted so he gets to run oh it's a rotary A never mind I got the wrong there we go <clears throat> but anyway, it means he gets a spot into this uh, race for, or the, not race, but for these drivers that are smuggling drugs across the border from Mexico to America. Hope I didn't confuse you all on that. Okay, underhood items are complete. Um, what do I need to take off here? Let me see if I can repair some of these body pieces open I can ooh gotta get the battery Don't let me forget the battery um yeah the hood's okay because the hood's brand new and those are okay because they're brand new yeah, I put the side skirts on. I tested all kinds of side skirts, just trying to get a, a good feel of what I needed. All right. I heard one thunk in that whole thing, so maybe it's not too bad. 
Hopefully it's just a mirror or something. Everything looking good so far. Alright, so in the last uh, R34 I did... Um, I don't remember if I did all the silver underneath of it or not. Or, I'm sorry. Oh, was the trunk window didn't... Trunk window didn't work. Oh, let me get a trunk window. <clears throat> I was thinking of a different car. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking of the Supers, not the... Uh, R3s, so, or the R34s. So, let's see, do an R34. Oh my. Ooh, that was slow. Um, yeah, those don't look like it's the same ones. Um,. Yeah, but it's that one there. I didn't mean to pop that up. There we go. Alright, so that's all done. Um, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Let's do this little body work here. Clean up the interior a little bit. And I think I did put new seats and stuff in this while I was farting around with it. Uh, global parts. Um, I thought it would be in better shape than that. Frame condition, interior condition is all good. I know the motor's out of it. I need to do the battery. Uh, why is it the intercooler? Front end. Rear right door window. Rear right door window. Oh. Guess I need to take care of that. Forgot that was a thing. Ah, this is going to be painful because, um, all right, well, to do this, I need to move the car, so, uh, poor F-bomb, it looks like a mess, doesn't it? Let me send you over to the dyno, oh, can't start the engine, so I can't put you in a dyno shop, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll move you to the paint booth for right now. Let me move you over here to the door so I can pop you open. There we go. There. Now we're looking better. Now we're looking better. Um, we're looking here. Need a... Take care of this battery real quick, because that's another piece. <laughs> All right, so. I need all the glass. I think that's all I need for this, so let's get some glass in here. I think I'm going to tint the windows. So we're going to go with some tinted windows here. I think that should work.
I mean, they are driving around in California. You need some tint on your windows. Alright, so... 88% the global body. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Rear, right, door, window. Rear, right... Rear, right, door, window. Ah, what is it? Rear door window, rear right door window. Um, geez, which one is it? I don't know, peoples. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, we'll have to worry about that in a few. I, I don't remember which one, what it is, so... This is gonna get interesting. Let's take the F-bomb out and put it back where it belongs. And let's get to building this engine. Ah, uh, what do I need here? need a couple of cams. I-6 cams. I need... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen. Fourteen of them cam gears, so... Are the cam stock, are the... Ah! Can't even talk. Cam caps is what I'm looking for. Cam caps. Um... I six camshafts. We are good. Um, side barrel. Yep. Need three of those. Um, need two of these. Fuel filter. Don't know about the rest of the stuff. I've already got pistons in it. Definitely going to need a C6 of those. Three of the air filters. No, just three, please. Thanks. Appreciate the fourth, but if you weren't going to charge me, but, uh, you know. Um. I know there's an I6 setup for... Maybe there isn't. It's an I6B, I6, okay. So, let's see, what do we got here? I could have gotten a water pump. <clears throat> Got in a hurry here. All the pretties. I guess you're about tired of seeing this engine, right? <laughs> yeah. Did a little different in the orange Supra, but it's fine. Uh, I can go ahead and throw the spark plugs in. This is a distributed engine, so uh, I'm going to have to pick up one of those eventually. I six cam gear. <clears throat> so I six cam gear. Need two of those. Uh, camshaft caps. Need at least fourteen of those bad boys. Um, flipping over to here. I know I'm going to need. Uh, I6 distributor cap, distributor, that, um, clip bees, I need a couple of them, uh, water pump, for the I6, I had to pick that up, and we we'll get busy here.
Yeah, these things really kick my butt sometimes because I never know what I'm getting myself into. And these are going to take forever here. I should have built it up to where I could just pull this engine and put it right in there. I did sell the old engine and I would just try to recoup some cash. As you can tell, I'm still at 11 million, 11 and a half million. I'm not doing too bad on the cash. I'm not doing any side jobs though. So all the money I'm spending, I'm sending, I'm sinking into the Fast and Furious cars. Uh, so far, um, on this is let's see eight. This is the eleventh car. Yeah, the eleventh car I've worked on, and uh, still doing strong in the money. So we're doing all right. I do find every once in a while cars that have less miles and I swap them out and sell off the old ones trying to keep a spreadsheet of those though as it's been a challenge all in itself <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so we go with the i6 cover Six time and cover. Excuse me, I six timing chain. You know, I didn't think to look for the I six cover here. <laughs> okay, didn't get the not get the other piece there. You can get the water water pump pulley. Drat. Okay, so I need timing chain sprocket water pull pulley. I got the water pump. Um, just a regular water pump pulley. Let's see if I go I6 again, see if I can come up with that little cam gear shaft. There we go. Okay, water pump. Check. Cam gear. Check. Cover. Check. Distributor going installed. Get underneath there and get that clip. Holy cow. Uh, throw on my wires. Crankshaft pulley. <clears throat> And I need, I think it's just belt A and B for the I-6. So, I think that's all I need for that. What else am I missing? I think I'm good, right? Yeah, I've got everything on the back. Can't put the exhaust manifolds till I have it in the car. Sweet. Taking it off the stand. We are getting close, people. We are getting close. Oh, that looks just so pretty in there. Does that look nice? Um, let's go ahead and put some oil in it. <clears throat> Alright, we got oil. Um, we need to put an exhaust system underneath. And the transmission. I'm just keeping the stock transmission on there, so... 
No biggie. Do that. Uh, oh, there it is. Couldn't see it. Put the drive shaft on. Because I have been forgetting the drive shaft here lately. I don't understand that piece. Um, front exhaust section. I. Front exhaust section. Let's see if that's. Is that in a. Wondering if it's over here. I am not seeing it. I don't think so. However, I am going to pick up the wheel muffler and the uh, middle muffler while I'm here. Let's just go ahead and get over here. Um. Uh, It's the front section for the turbo. I6. There we go. Yeah, see that that's another part that needs to be added to the list of performance parts. Alright, all those pieces are down. Do I, can I get the starter in? Nope, it's got to be from the engine bay. Get these on, get the engine cover on. I'll check the stats on it. I'm missing a body part. Ah, I don't know what I'm missing. Okay, that's all done. We'll put the starter in. And I should be golden just to uh, put the engine cover on. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. That's absolutely pretty. All right. Um, what am I missing here? Global body, 91%. So what is it that I'm missing on this? A uh, large intercooler. Rear right door window. And license plates. Rear right door window. Ah, uh, what is it? I'll figure it out in a minute. Okay. Um. Oh, and the intercooler doesn't seem like it showed up. I think I was an add-on later after I'd gotten this car. Why does it not want to come off? There we go. I was wondering why I didn't want to go back on. Okay, so that's good to go. Um, right door window. I have no idea. I'll look it up here in a second. So for license plates, um, it didn't have a front one so I'm going to leave that one alone uh, they were California license plates uh, I believe it was three oh hang on what am I doing um, 3d uh, HI 832 so we'll just pick up one of those for right now because that's going on the back I'm not putting anything on the front Um, with 95%, I've got to figure out what that piece is in the front license plate. Rear, right, door, window. So, rear, right, 
door window. Rear, right, door window. Rear bumper, left, 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 left. Rear right door window. I don't have a clue as to what it is because there's no picture of it. I was hoping I could figure it out. I don't see anything that's like... I see nothing. Um, oh my god. This so sucks. Rear window, body. Okay, I'm going to have to figure it out later because uh, this is driving me nuts. I am setting current and I'm painting the car. Painting the car metallic. Oh yeah, pretty pretty. Now if I could only figure out what that piece is, I would be happy. Is there anything in here? Front end, no? Well, until I figure it out, ladies and gentlemen, or you can throw me a line, uh, let me know, would you? Because uh, I don't remember this being an issue on the silver one. Maybe it is. I'm going to have to go check it out now. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, Brian's Blue R34 GTR Skyline. So, uh, not a bad deal on it. $78,000 considering I, I think I paid a little. I don't remember how much I paid, but I know I overpaid. So, all right. So, unfortunately, this car and Dom's car... Um, meet their demise out in the desert when Dom's car blows up and again one of those things Dom is uh, opening up a bottle of nitrous and a cigarette lighter ignites it and blows up both cars <sighs> what can I say nitrous is not viable but that's okay alright guys thanks for watching hit the subscribe button down below uh, throw me some comments let me know what you think of the series um, if you can figure out what that part is on the R34, on the Skyline, uh, drop me a line. I'm kind of tired of messing with it right now, so I'm just going to drop it from now. All right, guys, keep customizing, keep having fun. Search Quasar, and I am out.